Is that all you had to say for him? He was some kind of a man. What does it matter what you say about people? Please, tell me, is Joseph Cotton or Rob Montgomery? Joseph Cotton. Thank Good night. You. Very much. Tomorrow. That's a promise. Don't worry, there's no rush. have to get through this dry spell. And once the James Dean retrospective starts up next month, we'll be fine. It always works miracles. I am more worried about you than about my paycheck. Don't be ridiculous. Worry about the paycheck. You know, Kristen says you could make some more money if you rented the cinema in the mornings to committees or whatever. Christian. Yes, he's the one you let in free, isn't he? <laughs> he was supposed to come today. I wonder what happened. Christian. Yeah, well, I can imagine uh, exactly what kind of committees he'd have me mixed up with. Well, thank you, Claudia. You can tell Christian that I'd rather keep the drama in my cinema somewhat above the level of political shouting matches. Oh, God, if it wasn't you saying such offensive things, I'd take offense. No mice in my apartment. But you can't really be sure, can you? We think the exterminator should do the whole building. Mice work in mysterious ways. Oh, no, dear, that's God. I'll inspect it, Mrs. Trenier. Thank you for the warning. And if there are any mice, I shall come to terms with them myself. Good night. Again. Transmitting from Buenos Aires with English language news of the world 24 hours a day. 
tops in today's headlines is still the discovery of the body of 26-year-old law student Roberto D'Andrea. D'Andrea's badly mutilated body bore the unmistakable wooden exit wound of nine other such victims, marking him as the latest in this string of murders that have terrorized the city. Christian Salcedo, leader of the human rights organization that is investigating the murders, insists there is a connection between the killings and the task forces that operated here under the military. An accusation local police have ignored due to the fact that none of the victims is an active political past. However, Christian Salcedo affirms, don't look for political connections in the victims, but in the killer. Human rights representatives from Great Britain, Italy, France, the United States are expected to join Christian Salcedo here in Buenos Aires. It's only me, Vanessa. I'm sorry if... Could you give me a hand? I just need... Tidy, single person to share a large flat. Non-smoker. Own room, private bath, cooking facilities. Buenos Aires Central. 500 Australis a month. I've got nine replies already. Right. That's too much money. Nine people want to take the room. I just choose the one, naturally. I'll buy some cheap sheets, towels, plastic cutlery. No, it's going too far. I, you know the sort of thing. And you're like I won't even have to socialize with whoever it is. It'll be awful, but I, it won't be for long. I promise they will be gone before you get home, Mother. Oh, it's too hot. Mother, it, it, it will be, it will be cool, all right? I promise. Oh. It, you'll be all right. You'll be all right. Please. Please. No women's, no cars. 
cars, no money, I have nothing. 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 Me parece rígida la casa, espléndida, justo lo que yo andaba buscando, porque yo vivo en una casa enorme, grande, con un gato. El pobrecito se llama Gapito, está castrado, pero no tiene ninguna importancia. Este, que es lindísima, lindísima, porque yo necesito compañía, no, no puedo estar sola así, ¿no? Mis hijos se casaron y, bueno, y, y yo estoy sola y, y me gustaría, como no. Su dormitorio es aquel, me parece espléndido. What do you pay for this? Fifty? ¿Ah? Good hood. I like it. This bathroom is his bathroom. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fi over 50? It was. I'm sure. I'm sure. Oh, oh over 100? Eh? Oh. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey. Who are these people anyway? Oh, these men is like my father. Hey. Uh, will I have to meet them? Ah. Good Lord, no. Door. I knocked a couple of times and there was no answer. Do you know if it's been rented? Yes. Yes. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry, I, I really, I, I must apologize. I have very nosy neighbors. That's all right. She's very pretty. The American. Yeah. California? No, Hartford, Connecticut. It, isn't that where, where uh, Paul Newman lives? I don't know. You mean the actor? Yes. I'm sure it's Hartford. It's Is that Brando? It's Montgomery Clift. Oh, yeah, Clift. Yeah, that's what I meant. I r run a cinema club. Hmm. Videos? No. No, no, r real movies on a real screen. Videos are killing me. You know, pe people develop big backsides and, and, and blisters on their thumbs from skimming through the boring parts. It's... Don't even own a television. Why not? Afraid you might like it. Let me show you the rest of the shack. Have you ever, um, done any acting? <laughs> <laughs> me? Uh, no. <laughs> What are you kidding? <laughs> Where are you from? Kitchen. Uh, can't you tell by my accent? Well, you, uh, you sound British. Very good. This is the room. And the, um, the bathroom's through here. Nice. And you can use the, the living room and the kitchen whenever you like. Great. Uh, I can give you an answer by tonight. Oh, is the rent okay? And it's, it's, it is it's no, negotiable, no, no, it's of good. course. It's I mean, you, it's, it's if fine. you want, I can... Uh... Yes, 
I, I haven't asked you. What, what do you do? I'm with um, Intercom, part of their exchange program. The, the computer company. Yeah. Well, it's it's just it's within walking distance of here. It's just around the the, the back of Harrods. Really? Yes. I don't know. My horoscope says avoid decisions. Hey, let me see that. What are you? Gemini. Now, that's nonsense. You are an Aquarius. Like James Dean. See? It says, seize opportunity. Can I just switch like that? I mean, is that legal? Is that what you want me to do? No, absolutely. I, uh, Aquarius. I, I take full responsibility. Deal. Looking to see if they were dirty. Yeah, they're dirty. Well, I was just on my way down to the laundry, so why don't I take them? You want to do my laundry? Well, it's all all the same to me. I'm, not, I'm just on, just going to do my own. So two shirts or or, or five. What, what what difference does it make? Well, you don't have to do that. Well, it's not a problem. I mean, I, I was just going to do it anyway. In fact, in future, why don't you just leave them, um, well, outside the door, and I, I can, uh, I can take them. It's sure. <laughs> Thanks. Fine. Just... <laughs> uh, what time do you leave for work in the morning? Nine-ish. Perfect. Just in time. Scrambled eggs. Great. Listen, I don't want you to think that I'm some sort of, um, that I'm a regular Felix Unger. I mean, you, you can spit in your coffee if you like, I don't mind. Who's Felix Unger? What? An American who doesn't know the odd cup? Mm. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm not very good with names. So, uh... How long have you been in Argentina? Can you keep a secret? Sure. I'm an Argentinian, born and bred. Oh, you lived in England for 16 years. My father was a cultural attaché. So you speak Spanish? Of course. But I prefer everybody to think I don't. Even with my mother, I only speak English, and she does as well. I haven't the heart to tell her she sounds like Eric von Stroheim. Doesn't matter. You know, does well for both of us. Uh, keeps everybody at a proper distance, don't you think? I never thought about it. I only hope that nobody ever tells a very funny joke in Spanish in front of me or I give the whole thing away, like in Hangman Also Die. Do you see it? Do you like movies?
Okay. I got one. You ready? Al Pacino. James Conn. It's Al Pacino. Al Pacino? Yes. Okay. Al Pacino. James Conn. Diane Keaton. Yeah, the, the Godfather. It's too uh, easy. Yes, you have to make yeah. it a little bit more difficult. If you give me three actors, it doesn't have to be the, the, the central stars, just give me three actors of any film and I'll get it every time. All right, here's one. Um, Yul Brenner, Vincent Price, and Edward G. Robinson. That's a piece of cake. What, you don't know? You want me to tell you? The Ten Commandments. No. I saw that film. Edward G. Robinson, the guy who played gangsters. Uh -uh. You don't believe me? Yeah. You don't believe me? What, you just happen to have that at the ready? Yes. There uh, we are. Your Brenner. Edward G. Robinson. Vincent Price. Satisfied? Io ritorno. Adrian. <gasps> God Almighty. Jack. Jack, for 
God's sake, what is it? Nothing, I'm fine. I'm you fine. can't sleep. I'm fine. You had a nightmare? No, I didn't. Jack, you had a nightmare, I heard. <laughs> no, it's just some bullshit at work. You want to tell me about it? How's your mom? My mother? Well, she's... Well, she's not really getting any better, you know. She's watching her deteriorate. Ghastly. If ever you can't sleep, or you're having a nightmare, or, or you just need to talk in the night, I'm. You must always knock on my door. I don't sleep myself. Please promise me you'll always do that. Thanks. Everything all right? Yes, sir. Well, I, I have to be leaving. Hold then on, everything's on the table. I got one for no, you. No, I'm late. John Voigt. So are you. What? John Voigt, Anthony Perkins, and, um, oh, God, you know, but, um, Art Garfunkel. That's 22. Shit! Ah. You see, you ruined it with Art Garfunkel. He's only done four movies. Oh. Other than that, it, it, it wasn't at all bad. I'll Thank see you. you tonight. All right. Take it easy. Perhaps I could help. Um... Are you a doctor? <laughs> no, I'm Jack. Uh, Jack Carney. Are you Australian? It's none of our business, dear. It was an innocent question. Anyone can be an Australian nowadays. I'm actually American. Oh, didn't I tell you? <laughs> You're the tenant from Zero, aren't you? We saw the advertisement in the Herald. 
were very surprised. Mr. Leduc is such a private person. Oh, very surprised. Mm, but we were glad, we were glad, weren't we, Oh, Margaret? very Thank glad. Pity. <laughs> Oh, it's all right, Mr. Palmer. You can come down now. We've got reinforcements. Oh, we should be so grateful if he would save Muhammad for us. He's like a nephew to us. <laughs> <laughs> Charming tenant, <laughs> will you come and have a glass of sherry with us, both of you? I'm sorry, I'm in a hurry. Are you on your way in or out? I'll be up in a bit. <laughs> the sherry wasn't in evidence. I had to settle for port. Port? Thank you. I hope you like port, Mr. Carney. The board is terrific. To you, Mr. Carney. <laughs> to you, Mr. Carney. We're not used to gallantry anymore. <laughs> no, not anymore. <laughs> when Senor Alvarez was alive, uh, we were going to be married, you know, that's why we came here. But he died three days before the wedding. Three weeks, dear. He was a gentleman in the purest sense of the word. Oh, the purest. I'll never get over it. Never. Where's the bottle, dear? It's in the kitchen. It's empty. 1947. You never saw 1947, did you, Mr. Carney? That's the year we came here and I became a sort of a widow. We're boring you silly, Mr. Carney. No, no, please go on. We're living next door to each other. I think it's a good idea to get to know each other. How true, Mr. Carney. We only wish your friend, Mr. Leduc, was of the same persuasion. Oh, girl, what a shocking thing to say. Well... I feel as if I can be direct with Mr. Carney. Yes, you can. I think I know what you mean. We've nothing against Mr. Leduc. We've been very nice to him, haven't we, dear? Well, we've tried our best the way people should. But he behaves as if we owe him money. He's a great guy. I've actually grown quite close to him. His mother, she's still in the yarm. Yes. Mm. I feel as if he's going the same way somehow. It could be a family thing, you know. No, he's, um... He's just having a very difficult time with his mother. <laughs> Shouldn't he be in some kind of care? Sometimes he behaves in the most unspeakable way, and not everybody's as understanding as we are. No, not as understanding as we are. <laughs> Perhaps now that you're here, Mr. Carney, things will be different. 
<laughs> for us, anyway. <laughs> Somebody for us to talk to. <laughs> Someone with a recognizable accent. <laughs> <laughs> Jack! <clears throat> Ladies, thank you very much. Now, if you feel like a chat, you must come and see us. Ours is an open home. I was only trying to help. I, I'm not angry with you. I, you, you. I know you don't know what these people are like. Just... Jack. There's only one rule here. And that is avoid the neighbors. Just, just avoid the neighbors. You know, just, don't take them into your confidence and give them nothing. You know, they've been trying to find their way into me, you know, like, 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 like dirty little worms. And it's not because they care, not because they, they like me. It, it's just to... just to satisfy their, their, their morbid pointless curiosity to, to corrode, to, to invade, to chit-chat. All right, Adrian. All right. You can't hear me. You probably think I'm paranoid. Well, perhaps I am. But I haven't really got anything specific against these people. I... But I don't know them well enough to, to really despise them. And I don't intend to. It's privacy, you know. It's, it's very important. Well, we're all entitled to... One or two hundred idiosyncrasies. I know one of mine. Good evening, ladies. Hello. Jack Carney, I suppose. Yeah. Carlos Sanchez with me. I mean, number six. I've heard all about your salvation of the cat. Yeah, I'm uh, actually surprised it hasn't made the papers. <laughs> Let's have a drink one of these days. Anytime. I'm uh, in number zero. The method of killing is identical to those used by certain elements within the task forces or death squads here from 1977 on. We don't want to make a political issue out of this police matter, but it is a fact that all those people who engaged in torture and murder for the military government are free. They haven't even been tried. In many instances, we don't know their identities. From the moment that their right to follow orders was condoned in this country, we allowed a new breed of citizen to function within our system freely. A breed that kills as a way of life. <laughs> Que el mundo fue y será una porquería, ya lo sé, en el 506 y en el 2000 también, que siempre ha habido chorros, maquiaveros y estafados, contentos y amargados, valores y dublé, pero el siglo XX es un repliegue de maldad insolente, ya no hay quien lo niegue, vivimos revolcados en un merengue, Lodo todo manoseado. Hoy resulta que es lo mismo ser derecho que traidor. Ignorante, sabio, chorro, generoso, estafador, todo es igual. Nada es mejor, lo mismo un burro que un gran profesor mal aplazado. Y estará con los sin Uno vive en la impostura y otro roba en su ambición. A lo mismo que se acura colchonero rey de bastos, cara dura o polizón. Qué falta de respeto, qué atropello a la razón. Cualquiera es un señor.
cualquiera es un ladrón mezclado con esta víctima don bosco y la mía don chicho y la mía Yeah, it's Carlos. Carlos? Mm, Carlos. Since when did you and he have a... Uh... Your neighbors are nice. They talk to me. What do you want me to do? Yeah, yeah, but you just do what I do. Uh, good morning, good night, and that's it. Adrian, they're harmless. Ah. You're being very childish. Uh, believe me, I know what I'm talking about. I mean, the next thing is, can I borrow some sugar? Then it's, uh, can I use your telephone? Mine's out of order. And then, and before we know it, we're all living together like one great big happy ugly family. He seems like a perfectly nice guy. He doesn't know who Geraldine Page is. Hello. Uh, you're actually going around asking people who Geraldine Page is before no, you can no, make no, up your mind no, that's about not, That's not what I said. But, you know, when Geraldine Page died, we had a tribute at the club, and Sanchez Benet had just moved in, so I gave him a chance, and he blew it. You know, who, who, who's Geraldine Page? I, just, I mean, I just knew I couldn't talk to him anymore after that. You make it pretty difficult for yourself, don't you? I mean, it's going to take you a while before you find two or three other people like you. Are you calling me a freak? Adrian. Adrian, I'm calling you special. Special? You're calling me special? I mean, you should be a politician. You really should. Am you know? I right or am special. I right? Huh? I mean, if you were a bit more tolerant of other people's uh, inadequacies, you might not be living alone. Sorry, who, who's living alone? Where do you live? What are you? Uh, optical illusion? Uh, I don't count. Why not? Because I'm special, too. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll go over there. I'll, I'll uh, invite him over to join us for a drink. Will that make you happy? I am happy. Now, order me a screwdriver. Will you have to go to the job? problem with your friend. He acts as if I'd taken away his eyes from me. <laughs> uh, that's just the way it is. Who's the girl? Not bad, huh? Unfortunately, I don't seem to be her type. It's her loss. Have a drink later? Well, why not? Uh, I'll take you back and be at home in, in an hour or two. See ya. See ya. we get here. That is my question to you, sir. <laughs> I would just like to say, before I retire, that I thought it was a lot of fun. Thank you very much. Good night. You want some help? No, thank you. <laughs> I can hold my liquor, thank you very much. What do you think? Good night. Double. Did you know that? <laughs> Double. Tony Blakely. We went to boarding school together. 
together. We're real close, huh? Both fanatic of rugby. He was something on the field. Natural athlete, you know? One of those perfect bodies. Girls wet their pants every time he showed up. <laughs> I kind of miss him. I mean, he was. Miss him like one would miss her. Anyway, I wouldn't mind if he was here tonight with me. With us. Strange. What? No, I mean, here I am talking to you about Tony. I haven't seen him in 12, 13 years, you know? But I remember him very well. <laughs> As it was a shrink could do a lot with that, huh? <laughs> An unfulfilled fantasy. I mean, an adolescent fantasy. He was much older than me that way. We were the same age, but... He wasn't afraid. I really look like him. Look at that. Carlos and Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Dean Stockwell. Yeah. Terrific, isn't he? Yeah. Did you see Blue Velvet? No, I, uh, I saw National Velvet, but I guess it didn't count, does it? <laughs> so, uh, when was this uh, compulsion made, anyway? 1958. Well, why the hell was it shot in black and white? Well, it was a, a black and white kind of movie. Well, it was a, a black and white kind of movie. Mm -hmm. I mean, Woody Allen shoots uh, films in black and white even now. Oh, recently. Yeah, I guess that's true. Look, let's get out of here. Huh? Let's go pick up some chicks and have some fun. What do you say? What for? <laughs> what for? I mean, a quick exchange of bodily fluids. What for? There isn't um, AIDS uh, a consideration ah, with you? Well, well, I'm no sorry. I think you're being very irresponsible. and I, I won't have any okay, part fine, of it. Fine, 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 fine. Okay, fine. I mean, I didn't mean to offend you, but... Uh, you told me about one of your idiosyncrasies. Well, here's one of mine. Number one, I like mixed company. Male, female. Sometimes it works, Adrian. You know, you're not talking about male and female. You're talking about casual copulation, and I'm sorry, it's not for me. <coughs> Don't you like girls, Adrian? Hmm? No, I don't like girls. I like women, the kind that can't be picked up. Fuck you. You're, you're not actually going. You... you bet I am. I'm sorry.
I'm sorry. Please let me go. I don't sleep very well when my husband's away. When I heard you come in, I thought it was him. I thought, I thought perhaps he's back. I thought, I thought perhaps he changed his mind. But he never changes his mind. Hey. It's okay. You must think that I am... Have a good night's rest. Please don't go. Forgive me, I don't know what's the matter with me. I hardly know you. If you knew me, you wouldn't talk. You wouldn't confess your sins to your husband, your father. You confess them to a stranger because he'll absolve you. Yes. Yes. Sorry. You know, my father was the perfect stranger. He understood. I saw him only once a year, until the day he died. Then he was gone. And I felt lost. Alberto, my husband, doesn't have a clue. He, he thinks I'm moody. <laughs> I can't explain it to him. I know, it's stupid. He's so stupid. I'm a grown up. A married woman. I need my father back. What does my little girl need? Jack. It was breakfast. Jack, you're all right. Jack. Jack! Jack, are you in there? Jack! Jack, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, and so can the rest of the neighborhood. Oh, Jack. Hello, I... I... 
I thought something awful had happened. I just... just... Well, it was touch and go for a while, but I pulled through. <laughs> well, next time, if you could just leave a little note or, or something. Sorry, brother. I hadn't planned on being such a slut. Well, I was worried sick, you know. Well, it's, it's, um, breakfast, if you're... You <laughs> have to be late for work, you know. <laughs> I don't quite understand your schedule at Intercom. <laughs> Now, I'm not going to ask you where you've been. Those bags under your eyes give the whole dirty thing away. James Dean, je ne sais quoi. And he's, he's getting quite good at the game. You know, the other day, I gave him Alan Ladd for Cummings and Martha Hare. And he got it. I mean, I couldn't believe it. You couldn't, you couldn't get the grin off his face. And he got it. I mean, I couldn't believe it. You couldn't, you couldn't get the grin off his face. Who are you? Unarmed man. 
No, he'll live. I can't. Jack Carney. It, just please, it's, it's very urgent. Mr. Le Duc, yeah. we have a room for you this night near your mother. Would that be all right? Yes, sir. thank you. That's fine. But please go back to my mother. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll be along in a minute. I just have to okay, thank leave a message. I won't be home. Yes. What do you mean he isn't listed? Of course he's listed. He's a... Uh, this is Intercom, yes? Well, he's an American, part of your... the, the exchange program. Yes, I'm, I'm sure it's, it's... It's called the exchange program. He, um... He, he told me himself. Carney. Jack Carney. I see. Lying to me, Mother. I mean, he's spying on me. He's not the friend I, I thought he was. I, mean, I don't know who he is. And one day he'll he'll go away. Mother. Oh, Mother, tell me what to do. What's this? For you. A way of saying thank you. You don't have to do this. I want to. People like you don't grow on trees. I'll always want to remember how I met someone like you. You know what that means? It means hope. Jack? Jack? You have given me everything just by being you. Why do you put yourself down? Oh, oh I don't put. I am down but happy. Don't worry. No sob stories, I promise. Down and happy. a great deal. Not like you. You can afford delight. I belong in the dark. The dark is safe. In the dark, I seem real. In the dark, my dear, I have been called things. I've been called beautiful. I've been loved in the dark.
I can play this. What are you doing back so early? My mother isn't well. Oh, I'm sorry. She'll be right. Good. Hey, listen, I got a killer for you. You ready? Huh? Harrison Ford, Robert Duvall, Terry Gar. Conversation. Oh, shit. Oh, listen, I, uh, I bought this for your mother today. I got it in San Tomo. I hope she likes it. Thank you. Good. Hi. Jack. You're not going to just suddenly go away, are you? What do you mean? I've, I've sort of got used to having you here. I mean, I, I like you to be here. Well, I like it too, Adrian. What's the matter? Well, I think I'm being open with you. Yeah? I mean, if I get on your nerves, you, you, you can tell me, you know. Don't be stupid. I mean, I know I'm not the best kind of friend. I, I just can't do certain things. You don't need to tell me that, Adrian. But I want to. Things should be clear between us. We, we have to get rid of some of the, the debris. What debris? What are you talking about? Well, what were you doing in San Telmo on, on, on a working day? Hmm? I mean, it is a, it is a working day. Am, am, I, am I wrong? Jack, I'm sorry. Forget it. It's, it's me. I'm just... I mean, we're all allowed one or two hundred idiosyncrasies, remember? And I'm kind of wobbly and watching my mother fading away. I can't bear it. Adrian. Look, Jack. I have to look at you and be sure. I mean, if that is a mask, take it off now or keep it on forever. I and mean, if you want to keep secrets, God knows you're entitled, but please just don't try to confuse me. Because you'll only... confuse me. What do you want to know? Hmm? Come on, tell me. Who are you? Whoever you want me to be. I'm serious, Jack. I'm terrified. I don't want to have to talk to the walls all over again. Don't worry, kid. I'm here. There's nothing to be afraid of. Say that again. What? There's nothing to be afraid of. There's nothing to be afraid of. You mean that? You betcha. <laughs> now, come on, let's go out. Out? Right. Yeah. Good idea. Where? No, it's all right. I'll... I'll see you in a minute. Out.
five to nine. Shouldn't you be leaving too? I'm eating breakfast. I'll go when I'm ready. Is that all right? Yeah. Well, why don't we walk together part of the way? Um, I'll, I'll see you tonight. Radio. Bye. Bye. I'll, I'll just I'll have another cup of coffee. Okay, why not? I'd better go, really. It's, it's late. I'll see you tonight. Political. What? Political. Look, just go. Look. Primero, you say why. Oh, Malvina. 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 Even the families of the people who died under the military have come to us saying, this man could be the one that killed my father, my daughter. How can we help? People from all over the world are here to help us and mask this man. You're not listening. 
Yes, I, I, I'm listening, Claudia. I just don't know what to say. Don't you see what this means? When people get involved and come out to be counted, it, it means there is hope, Adrian. Now, you're overexcited. Now, now you know what I say? Uh, passion tends to overtake reason, and now that's dangerous. But it's happening around you, Adrian. You're playing a part, whether you know it or not. No, what do you want? You want to use, uh, you want to use my cinema for films for your little group, is that it? Oh, all right, you, you can have it, okay? I want you to want to give it to us. It has to come naturally, otherwise it's, it's worthless. Do you understand, Adrian? No, I don't understand. I've, I've said you can use the cinema. Well, why must I give you more? Estas películas se han encontrado así, casi por casualidad, diría. Y muestran elementos extranjeros que fueron utilizados aquí por los grupos de tarea desde el 1967 en adelante. Por favor, me grupos de tarea o de squad. Ahora lo que tenemos que hacer es establecer las ideas used here by the grupos de tarea o de squad. Ahora lo que tenemos que hacer es establecer las identidades de estas personas. No sabemos quiénes son. We know they're foreigners and that they were here. This film was shot just outside of Buenos Aires. That guy is Peter Alma, a New Zealander. He died in Tucumán. The next one is an American. And there are a couple of South Africans, but their identities are not yet established. Pero qué mierda estamos haciendo acá, eh? Viendo cómo estos hijos de puta se cagan de risa. Quiere gritar, no grita. Nos tenemos que calmar, por favor. Yes. Let's try to keep calm. Losing patience and arguing among ourselves is not going to do our cause. Concentrated these images on those faces. We have to put a name to those faces. One of them could be the man we're looking for. Where did it go? We have to find this man and stop him from killing again.
ten en cuenta que a partir de este momento no te quiero ver nunca más. Ni yo tampoco. Chao, ¿ah? ¿eh? Chao. No ha sido renovado. ¿Qué? ¿Se podría sacar los anteojos? cada vez por la policía. Sí, 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 por supuesto. Lo haré enseguida. Así que por ahora usted debería saber que señor Leduc. Sí, 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 gracias. All of these men operated here in Argentina.
The one with the glasses on. Um, his name is, uh, Michael Weller. An American mercenary. Dead. Dead? Identified by his papers and a ring. He, like other foreign elements, was passed off as a subversive rather than part of the military operation. Well, you know, a corpse is a corpse. And it was much easier for the government that way. If he was a subversive, there could be a million explanations why he was here. If he was part of the armed forces, there'd be none. Why do you ask, Claudia? Have you seen him before? No. Nothing. I thought... I don't know. I'm sorry. Sorry. I didn't breathe. I didn't breathe. I didn't breathe. Mrs. Trenier. Relax, ladies. Well, really, all, all I wanted to say was that we're very, very worried because... Something is happening in Jack's apartment. Oh, please, speak Spanish. What is going on up there? What have I said? What have I said? within our system freely. We're not looking for any particular face here. There is no recognizable look to the killer. He could be anyone. Perhaps someone you know. Someone in your family. Someone you work with. Someone you trust. Even your next door neighbor. <laughs> What's going on? Shh. Remember the shots last night? We think that something happened to Jack. Who the hell is Jack? Shh. What? Mrs. Trenier, if you should call the police. Me? Why me? Because the lady on the television said we should all be involved. You believe everything they say on television? Go ahead. Involve yourself. I'm not going to stop you. But remember, we could be making a terrible mistake. I say we wait. I'm not sure I understand. Are you suggesting the Mr. Duke is a killer? Shh! But it's absurd. Absurd? My dear. 
the victim was so disfigured he could not be identified. They only know that he was male, dark-haired, and about 26 years old. Oh, my God. Let's not get carried away, please. It can't be. The victim was found in a hotel miles from here. Oh, but that's the simplest thing in the world. He could have killed him here, cut him into little pieces, and taken him to the oh. hotel. Oh, my God. Oh. You're wasting time, ladies. One of us should go up there and... I could knock at the door myself. Oh. <laughs> Or maybe two of us, you know, show a little unity. Just knock at the door and ask for Jack. That wouldn't be any good. He'd just say he'd gone out. Maybe he's not in. Shh. He always brought the Sunday papers. Always. And if he couldn't have come, he would have let us know. He would have called, wouldn't he? If he was that sort of person, he would have called. Listen, let's wait until six. If by that time... Yes. Let's all meet at my place at six. Then we'll decide what to do. Oh, well, uh, I think it would be better if we met at Mrs. Trenny's, because I don't want to be running up and down the stairs all day. No, not running up and down the stairs all day. No. Okay. Six o'clock, then. Hmm? like to talk to Jack. Well, he's away. I think we should all buy him a little something. What have I said? I don't mean anything expensive. A, a gesture. Something small. I don't know. I don't know. 
some flowers. That's what seems such a ghastly image. All right, don't move. She just don't move. Don't move. You think we should go to the hospital? No, 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 no. Don't move. All right. Is Adrian in? Clean the carpet, I promise. I'm so glad you're home. You're my brother, Adrian. I love you. I love you so much. Talk to me, Adrian. You're making me feel weird. God damn you! I'm sorry. Don't be mad at me, okay? Just. I just want to say hi. I'm sorry about my hands on the... What? 
I'll go wash up and I'll I'll put the mask on, okay? And then I'll come back. Okay? Is that okay? What about? I lost. Oh, bullshit! What, are you kidding? What, are you worried about her? Forget it, man. She came in here. She pointed the fucking finger at me. And she said, I know who you are. You're not gonna do something stupid, are you, Adrian? You're not gonna spoil this friendship, are you? Are you? You need me, Adrian. Don't you? Yes. Yes. And I need you. So go have a nap, and let me take care of this, okay? What are we going to do with her? I don't worry about it. I'll take care of her, all right? No, together. I want to do it together, whatever it is. Please. You're a little squeamish, right? Let me handle this, okay? No, this is my house. It wasn't for me before, but this is my house, and now I'll deal with it. It's our house. Our house? Yeah, it's our house. Bag. What? Are you gonna help me here or what? Shh. No, 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 the trunk, for Christ's sake. Should have been a chiropractor. Allora, ascoltami. Io voglio sapere che cosa è successo con te. Dimmi. Hey. Hello. Hey, Laura. Can I give you a hand? No, um, thank you. I'm off to California in the morning. California? I'll be in touch.
I think the bitch needs another bullet. <laughs> oh, come on, lighten up, will ya? I'm just leaving the... What difference does it make, huh? I'm gonna go get rid of this phone. better think of something. Remember, I told him I was going to California in the morning. Well, why don't we just... Why don't we go to California? What was that? Well, why don't we just go to California? Together. Together? something I have never shared this with anyone <laughs> I mean when it was a job when I came here and helped you people clean up this country that doesn't count I was just taking orders when those bastards fucked me up nobody wanted to take responsibility when it was over, they told me, you're dead, you don't exist, no one can touch you. As if that mattered. Adrian. California together. Don't you dare change your mind. <sighs> Look, Jack, this may be an everyday event for you, but for me... It's... Oh, I know, I know. First time for me, too, was kind of weird. And Jesus, I was, what, 17? I was trained, but... No, actually... I kind of loved it the first time. You'll get used to it. Can we go? I think we... It'll be dawn soon, I think. You need a rest, big fella. 
And so do I. See you later. Guess what I was just thinking. He was so no. depressed, he may have no, done himself harm. No, no escucho nada, nadie escucho, escucho nada. Vanessa, ¿qué pasa? I'm sorry to disturb you. I was just wondering, do you happen to have Jack's address? No, I'm sorry. Uh, we haven't heard from anything from him yet. Strange. Yes, well, uh, have soon.
Know who that was? Hmm? Silly girl. It's okay. You go ahead. Hmm? So you go ahead. Come on, drink up. Come on, have a drink. I'm not going to drink alone. Silly. Fine, suit yourself. <laughs> 